But we just got back from the barbershop. If you guys saw on my Instagram, what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now is just prep dinner and then we'll get started with today's main topic for day three. Okay, so we got the coleslaw, we got the chicken breast, we need some condiments. change that and some buffalo red hot wing sauce okay we're going to go with we're gonna go with eight ounces of chicken breast Alright guys, so we have dinner, you guys already saw, I showed you, and today's topic is going to be precisely about, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have questions regarding what supplements should you take, should you take any supplements, do you need to take supplements uh, for this project, for this transformation, for this I am taking supplements, you don't need to take supplements, it's not 100% necessary, supplements are just used to go ahead and fill in the blanks for certain things. So, per se, um, one of the supplements that I'm taking, of course, is gonna be a protein shake. We're gonna go with, um, this protein was custom mixed precisely, just for me, uh, with the macronutrients and the caloric intake that I want. If you guys wanted to go ahead and do that, I'll link the link down below of the website where you can go ahead and custom mix your own protein shake. So, a protein shake, I'll usually take post-workout one scoop, only one scoop, not two scoops. I don't take more than one scoop a day just to get fast acting whey protein in the body for recovery, um, you know, lean muscle building. So you definitely could use the protein shake. Now, you don't need the protein shake. You can might as well just leave the gym. You can have your meal with you, have a meal. It's going to digest a little slower. It's going to hit your stream a little slower. But you don't need a protein shake to make a major difference between getting results and not getting results, okay? The protein shake is not going to be the, the do-it-all for or am I going to be building muscle. It's just going to help keep you anabolic. It's going to help keep you recovering a lot faster, but it's not going to go ahead and make or break you, okay? So, I'm taking a protein shake. You guys can go ahead and take one also. Definitely recommend that you get the ISO 100. It's the one that I recommend to all my clients. So, we have a protein shake as one of the supplements that you should buy but you don't need to to see results but I recommend you do get it I keep saying that over and over again because I don't want you guys to not follow the program that's why I repeated myself I don't want you guys to not follow the program because you didn't buy your supplements the supplements are not gonna they're, they're not make it or break it okay if you have them great if you could afford the luxury to buy them great I'm just showing you how I take mine so if you do buy yours you know how to take them the next supplement that I'm going to be talking about is going to be just regular BCAs, okay? So we have BCAs with BPI. Uh, I just like the way they taste, the flavor. As far as BCAs, I wouldn't say any company is better than the other. Uh, as long as you just you find the, a flavor you like, mix this into your water. What I do is I'll get my gallon of water and I'll put a scoop of B BCAs in the morning in there. It helps me drink that water throughout the day, so I actually get a gallon in daily, okay? Then we have glutamine. So I'll take the glutamine right before bed, again, in water, and about a glass of water, I'll take one scoop of glutamine just to maximize recovery. We have L-carnitine. The L-carnitine I'm taking first thing in the morning, I'll wait about an hour, and have breakfast, okay? You have your regular B-complex or multivitamins. Um, 
So multivitamins is just, they're just primarily so you don't get sick. You want to make sure you take multivitamins because when you're working out, when you're low carbs, and you're doing cardio, you're, you're putting your body in a deficit, which is what we're doing for this program, your immune system is going to temporarily drop before it gets stronger. So taking multivitamins uh, is a great way to keep the immune system strong. Taking B-complex is a great way to have natural energy. So just make sure that you go ahead and you can find that at Walgreens or uh, your local grocery shop should have multivitamins, okay? Another thing that I take that everyone needs is joint support. Uh, a lot of people that I work with do have joint issues, and if you're one of those, just a triple action joint support. You can get anyone um, that you find at your store. Just take one of these daily, especially if you're doing cardio, especially if you're working out intense, your joints do need it, okay? And then last but not least, prior to the workouts, I take a pre-workout, okay? The pre-workout that I take is a Predestined. It's by Ram Sports Nutrition. Again, I'll link the website down below. So, the pre-workout, you basically take it prior to working out for a boost of energy, a boost of amino acids, a boost of muscular endurance, a boost of um, pushing back muscular fatigue. So it has beta adenine, has niacin. A pre-workout should usually have all the ingredients your body need, needs to maximize the workout. Basically, so you can perform at your best. When you're on a, on a low-carb diet like we all are, following this program, uh, you definitely need that boost of energy heading into the gym because you don't have you, the food is not giving you the energy. The food is, has has you under deficiencies, so it's making you weak. Uh, in, in a sense, your body is is eating just enough to maintain. And lose body fat you know you're not eating in a surplus you're not gonna feel super strong so pre-workout is very important especially for these next couple days that we have our body under deficiency before we incorporate our refeed um, this is my first time talking about the refeed but after 12 days I'm gonna incorporate a refeed for all of us so we could go ahead and, and, and do that so the pre-workout we got just one scoop it's a small scoop um, if I had to recommend pre-workouts to take honestly I would recommend just this one out of all of them, that's the one I've been taking for the last year. You don't get used to it. The scoop is really small. It has no proprietary blends. It has no fillers. So that way your body doesn't get accustomed to it. Okay? And that's pretty much it, guys. For day three, I'm going to finish my dinner. Time to fool.